Hilton Gardens. It's about May 12th. We're on, these are some fairly new beds right at the foot of my driveway. This was all woodland not that many years ago. In fact, these terraces were just made two years ago, I think. So this is fairly new soil. Anyway, uh, everything's growing beautifully. In here, what we want to look at specifically is this plant called Good King Henry. Chenopodium bonus henricus. So Chenopodium is in the Chenopodiaceae family, I think, still. Very close to amaranth. Uh, in fact, they might be combined at the moment. Uh, they share uh, being nice edible plants with both edible leaves and edible seeds. That's true of the amaranths, and that's also true of many of the Chenopodiums, or Kenopodium, however you want to say it. A well-known one in this genus is quinoa, so which is Chenopodium quinoa in Latin. Uh, and it looks almost exactly like lamb's quarters. So we'll do a video presently about lamb's quarters. Or did we do it already? Lamb's quarters and magenta lamb's quarters. But now we're talking about this perennial. Those are all annuals. This is a perennial plant. And people consider it to be a perennial spinach because that's... Uh, the family of spinach. So it's a spreading perennial, never gets much taller than this. It just keeps getting wider and wider. I think this started off as one plant and it now goes from here to here. And you can see it's doing a very good job of making seeds for us this year. And I'm sure the seeds would probably be edible, uh, but pretty tiny. If you want to get seed production, lamb's quarters is probably more realistic. This just seems to like average garden soil. Uh, we've got it in light shade here. We don't do anything much more for it than that. So it's in all the European wild food books. Not that well known yet in this country. Mm -hmm. 